Hey humans. So whatever happened to Google's AI model built specifically on learning science principles? So if you've been following my work for a while, you would have known that earlier this year and the last year, I spoke about Learn LM, which was a specific AI model from Google, which I said before was trained on learning science principles. It was available to use in Google's experimental AI studio. And at the time itself, the model was experimental. I had so many questions from people saying to me, hey, I saw your video and I, I can't find this anymore. Where is it gone? So the good news is it hasn't disappeared completely. The bad news is you can't use it directly on its own anymore. And that's because Google has now baked in Learn LM across all of its products. And you can see here you know, a few months back that what has now happened is that Google has, as in own words, infused Learn LM directly into Gemini 2.5, which is their flagship AI model that you can use as a company, you can use as an individual. So what does that mean? And how can you keep benefiting from this model that really feels like it's specifically built for the world of education and L&D? So first things first, if you haven't seen the video about Learn LM, how it works, why it's interesting, I will link that into wherever you are watching this video. I think the first thing to know that's really interesting is looking at where they are talking about how Gemini 2.5 is now infused with Learn LM and what that means for learning science. So again, take this with a pinch of salt as much as you will. You'll need to do your own research. I am just showing you what Google is sharing with us here. It doesn't necessarily mean it is all factually correct from here, but you can see where it talks about some of the kind of key pillars of what Learn LM can do. Now, where can we find it? Where can you use it? Well, not surprisingly, Google has a huge product suite available, so we can find it in many areas. Notebook LM, those of you who know my work, now I'm a huge, huge lover of Notebook LM. You can now find Learn LM as it sits here, sitting across mind maps and audio overviews, even video overviews as well. I have a video about those video overviews if you're interested. So do check that out. But Learn LM is now infused into Notebook LM. So you can take benefit of some of those learning science principles there, both as a consumer and as a creator. And then, of course, we can also see that in search. So you've probably seen this AI mode that's appeared up from Google recently. So we can see it here. And what will happen is when you go to a Google search now, you generally get asked if you want to go into AI mode. And what that's all based around is well, like it says, going into AI mode instead of using the kind of static search engine optimization. But in that, as you can see in the video here, is that you can use part of Learn LM that it's now built into search to learn more about how things work, ask questions, get deeper detail. And then finally in Gemini itself. So Gemini is Google's large language model of choice as the competitor against Open AI's ChatGPT and of course Microsoft's Copilot, and you can use it directly in there as well. Now, saying that, you know, there's those opportunities to use it. Obviously, Google Search being a free one, I think Notebook LM you can still get for free. There is a paid version, of course, the same with Gemini as well. Now, there is a particular art, should I call it, in terms of using Learn LM inside these tools. And the prompts that you can use and the context and the structure or context engineering, should we call it, to make sure that you can get the most out of taking advantage of this model that is built specifically around learning science. I'll provide links to those resources so you can check those out because they are going to be super beneficial to make sure that you can direct Gemini, you can direct these other tools to help you in a learning perspective. So look, folks, that answers the question that I keep getting. Learn LM is not dead. It's just that you can't use it in Google AI Studio anymore. You can use it directly across this suite of tools in Google. And I'd be really interested to hear about how you have used it. What have your experiences been? You know, let me know. You can do that by sending me a DM wherever you're watching this, leaving me a comment wherever you're watching this, because I'd love to know how you're using it. But that's it for me. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Ciao.